Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today we're talking about the new devices, the iPhone 16 and the 16 Pro models. So they have been shipped yesterday and if you're one of those people that already got that device, I suggest that you go ahead and change these settings on your new iPhone 16. And the first one will be here under the battery section. Of course, you have a new device, the battery health is at 100% and you wanna keep it like that for as long as possible. So what I suggest you do here to make sure to do that is go to charging and make sure that you limit the charge right here. You will have this new option where you have the slider, from 100% to 80%. So you can go ahead and choose anywhere between 80 and 90%. I think that's the sweet spot for you. So you get the most battery, but also limit the charge. So the iPhone's battery doesn't fully charge. That way it will, of course, last longer and the battery health percentage should drop away slower. Now, while you're here, make sure you also turn off this setting right here. It is called clean energy charging. And what it does, it will basically try to reduce your carbon footprint by only selecting to charge your iPhone when lower like carbon emissions are available. So if you do that, your iPhone might require quite a lot of time to actually charge. So if you just want your iPhone to charge away faster, make sure you have the setting right here disabled. And now that you have your new iPhone, what I suggest you do is that you make sure that you have updates enabled for security patches. And to do that, make sure you go to the general settings and then go to software update. And right here, you will have automatic updates. And it will have here automatic updates for iOS updates and also downloads. But you will also have this one right here, which is really important. Now, this is an update that comes to your device, but it's not like an iOS update. It's just an update for security responses and system files. So by enabling this, you will always get those patches that Apple releases without having to actually update your iOS software. Now, another thing I suggest you really do on your new iPhone is head on to privacy and security and scroll down here and make sure you find stolen device protection. It is right here. This will add another layer of security to your iPhone. So in the event that your iPhone is stolen, you know that your data will be actually secured. So make sure you have this enabled. It is actually really, really important. And if you're coming to the iPhone 16 or the 16 Pro from an older device, you will now have a new button. You will have the action button right there. And now it's of course the time to go ahead and set it up. So go to the settings under action button. You will have here all the different controls that you can set to the action button. Now the default will be the silent mode, but you will have other ones that you can select here. And what's really cool are the controls that you can choose from here, just like on the control center or on the lock screen, you can set different controls, which you can now of course activate using the action button or even shortcuts. If you tap here, you can go ahead and choose any shortcut you want and actually run it via the action button or choose to open any app from there. So you set up any app you want, and then you will basically be able to just use the action button to open that app. Moving on under the face ID and passcode settings, we have here some pretty cool settings for your face ID. So one of them will be require attention for face ID. I suggest that you always have this turned on. This will require your full attention in order for your iPhone to unlock. Your eyes need to be opened looking at your phone in order for the phone to actually unlock. This will prevent someone from maybe unlocking your iPhone while they might be at sleep. And the second setting that I suggest you turn on right here is attention aware features. Now, this is pretty cool. It uses basically your face ID to recognize whether you're looking at your phone or not. So let's say you get a notification while you're looking at your phone. It will just bring down the sound of the notification or the phone call as well. So it's actually pretty awesome. It just recognizes your face and knows when you're looking at your phone. That way, of course, it will bring down all the noises, all the things from different notifications that you get on your iPhone. Now with the change that Apple has made with the iPhone 15 Pros and this year with the iPhone 16 series on all of them, the new action button, you basically get uh, the silent mode on your status bar. So 
on previous iPhones and other iPhones, you can just take a look at the switch button right here and see if your device is on silent mode or not, but you won't be able to do that with the new devices. But now you can go under sounds and haptics here and just enable right here where it says show in status bar. That means that your silent mode will be shown right here on the status bar. Of course, when your device is on silent mode, when it's not, it won't show anything. Now, while you're here, here we have another setting called change with buttons. Now, what you have here is the ability to allow the ringer sound to change with the volume buttons of your iPhone. Now, if you don't want to do that, you just want to set it once and then you just want to use the volume buttons ex exclusive for your media volume, then you can just go ahead and turn this off. Now, the way this works is that when you have media playing, you will turn up or down the volume with the buttons right here. But when it's not, then it does control the ringer right here, the alert tones, as you can see right there. But if you switch it off, then you will only be controlling the media volume. Moving on into the camera settings, so go to your settings, go under camera right here and scroll down, you will find an option called portraits in photo mode. Now this is really awesome, especially now with the awesome new cameras of the iPhone 16 series. When you have this enabled, it will allow you to later on edit, take your photos, the normal photos that you take with your iPhone and turn them into portrait photos. So even though you're just taking a normal photo, your iPhone will recognize when there's a person or a pet on your photos and will allow it to later on add the basically the blur around this subject and turn it into a portrait photo. And while you're here, make sure you also enable mirror front camera so you get that way better effect when you're taking selfies with the camera of the new iPhone. Moving on into the Safari settings, so I head on now to the apps section on the settings app. You know, now we have a dedicated section there for the apps and find Safari and make sure you have enabled require face ID to unlock private browsing. So with private browsing on Safari, those tabs will now be locked and the only way to open them is by of course using your face ID. Going back here into the general settings and then go autofill and passwords and make sure you have enabled delete app to use. This one is for verification codes. So whenever you get a verification code through SMS or through email, once you have used them on your device, those messages will automatically be deleted. So you don't have a pile of different messages and emails only with those simple codes. And with the new iOS 18, we also have now a dedicated passwords app. So what I suggest you do right here is go ahead and enable detect compromised passwords. So whenever you have added a password to the passwords app, it will alert you if one of those passwords that you have added before or you're adding have been compromised. Now with iOS 18, we also have a pretty cool new feature that allows to basically calculate anywhere where you can use your keyboard. But the way to do that is by enabling that feature right here under the general settings and then go to keyboard and right here, make sure you have enabled show math results. That way you will be able to actually calculate anywhere you want on the messages app, on the notes, anywhere without having to go to the calculator app. And last but not least, right here under the keyboard settings, go to keyboards and now you will be able to add two different languages in one keyboard. Tap on add new keyboard and we can add here a second language. So if we just go ahead and select this, you can see that we can add this as a new keyboard or we can add this to English. So you can see right here, we have now two different languages on the same keyboard. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Of course, subscribe for more iOS 18 and iPhone 16 videos and I'll see you on the next one.